what's going on? What's going on? All right, you know what time it is. You know what rhyme it is. I'm your gracious host, A6. F uh, format's a little bit different. This is an old school format I'm doing. I haven't done this format in a little while. But anybody who's watched my channel long enough, they know that uh, I uh, I used to do this on a regular, for real, in the car. That's how I started off. But, you know, got to evolve and all that. So, um, today is a very windy Friday. It, it was The wind felt like hurricane wind damn near. This wind is heavy. Like it's goddamn blowing the car all over the place. So uh, what I want to talk about today is Bonds for the Win. Bonds for the Win, and I talked about this on my channel, is a group of uh, parents and people alike who want to see these politicians held responsible for taking federal money and shitting all over the Constitution and shitting all over the law in general that they're, that they're bound to follow. Statutes, codes, and regulations that were put in place to keep them from acting up and to keep them from doing things they're doing just because we didn't know the law or we weren't reading enough or we didn't study the law enough and they've been getting away with this because of us it's really our fault at the end of the day so now the group of parents and people we've started to read the laws and obtain bond numbers to hold these pieces of crap responsible and now they're all they're all backing down and running and fleeing and and, and reducing uh, uh getting rid of the mandates and you know uh, getting rid of vaccine policies, making it optional. And these, these decisions are happening overnight. Literally. Like, literally. These decisions, they're being dropped. Uh, uh, some, uh, what is it? Service. They're being served at their town hall meetings. And as a result, the mandates are getting lifted the very next day. They hold emergency meetings and the mandates are getting lifted. Optional mask policy as such. Or they're scheduling them a few days out. You know, but it's, it's working. It's working gloriously. So, um... Shout out to all the parents who've been getting busy. I've been out there trying. I've been getting bond numbers as, my, as well. Um, you know, it's not easy, but uh, they're trying to get busy. They usually ain't when it comes to stuff like this because they try to obscure it. They can't hide it, but they can obscure it from you getting it. So um, shout out for that. And then, um, you know, all the parents keep pushing, man. And don't stop at, let's not stop at uh, mask mandates. Let's get these mofos out of office and in jail. I want to see these motherfuckers riding for what they're doing because they were basically taking money from the federal government to piss all over the Constitution. So let's start off with your state and get those motherfuckers out and get them in jail. Put them motherfuckers behind bars. That way you can make an example for any politicians in the future who decide to walk that path. This is the future you're going to have in jail. That's where they belong at because, you know, it's, there's no excuse for that crap. You know what I mean? It's completely inexcusable. You got people basically out here suffering, children suffering. Meanwhile, you got rich jerks at the Super Bowl with no masks on at one of the most heavily regulated places when it comes to mask mandates and all that other stuff in the country, which is Cali. Los Angeles, let alone. Liberal Haven. Nah, bro. It's all effed up, man. So now nah, it's time to reel them back in, bro. Time to reel them back in. And then I would say, even, even then, shit, we got the ability to reshape the government how it's supposed to be to serve us. So any any unconstitutional statutes, codes, or regulations, like some some states got those uh them stupid ass gun laws and shit, they can go, because that's color of law too. Because the constitution clearly says what time is on. So those can go. Any 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 invasions of privacy by the uh the federal government, we can, that can be at the end. Local police violating uh, people's Fourth Amendment, that can go. Like, it, yo, literally, bro, we have the power to restructure the government so that our children have a better world to live in, man. Because it, it what's basically happening is the government is not, it's self corrupt. It was basically built for us. It's the people that are in it that are corrupt. So we have the, pe the power to remove those people and put, you know, all kinds of claims on their bonds and they can't be eligible for public office if there's claims on it, if they don't have uh, bond insurance and such. You know, just keep hitting their bonds, man. Straighten them up. But yeah, this is glorious work, man. It's a, it's a great day. It's working. The hard work is being put in. The leg work is being done all around America. You're seeing this happen. And it's, the news is not going to tell you this because this doesn't benefit their narrative. The narrative is you don't have any power. They do. The fact that parents are starting to hit bonds would that basically show the opposite. If it shows that the parents actually have the power, the people have the power to get these corrupt a-holes out of office so that we can control the government the way we need to, then that's what it is. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's what it is, basically. All right, so that's what I wanted to drop with you guys. 
um, I gotta keep moving. Of course, you see me sliding and gliding, and it's gonna continue to be that way. All right, see you guys Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the same time, the same channel, and uh, you know, get busy. All right, holla at y'all later. Peace out.